Hello, my name is Luca Antonio Marino and I'm the director of Capuchin Culture. In this video I will talk about the making of this short documentary and I will also give you some information about the idea, the conception of this film. Capuchin Culture is the story of a group of capuchin monkeys and shows how these animals learn to survive in the harsh environment of the semi-arid forest in the northeast of Brazil. The film highlights the challenges that the young monkeys must face and the skills that they must gain to become independent. Hunting, finding water and eventually using stones as tools to crack open palm nuts. These techniques and behaviors are transmitted to the offspring and represent their culture. The idea of this story comes from the studies that I've done on capuchin monkeys for my master thesis in biology within the Etosibus project, which has investigated for more than 15 years the ethology and ecology of these species in the site of Fazenda Boavista, in the state of Piauí in Brazil. In 2014, I spent three months in the Brazilian forest to study the foraging strategies of capuchin monkeys. I was fascinated by their great variety of behaviors, some of them unique in their kind, such as the ability to crack nuts using stone tools. This particular strategy is considered one of the most complex forms of tool use in nature putting capuchins on a par with chimpanzees and humans. Moreover, nut cracking is part of their traditional behaviors that characterize the culture of this population. Recently, Etosibus researchers have published new findings on this behavioral transmission and also on the loss of their habitat due to human impact. On the other hand, other scientists have highlighted the importance of animal culture in conservation programs. In 2019 I decided to go back to the field and make a documentary about the fascinating and unique behaviors of capuchin monkeys for the final film of my master degree in wildlife documentary production at the University of Salford. My aim was to make a documentary that could raise people's awareness on the importance of animal culture and also on the importance of protecting this particular population of monkeys in order not to lose their behavioral heritage. Making this film was very exciting. I had the opportunity to make a documentary about capuchin monkeys both as a filmmaker and as a biologist, so I was emotionally involved in this project because I could tell a story about the animal species that I studied for many years. The production required long research, accurate organization and about three weeks of shooting. As a student film, this was a very low budget production and I carried out all the steps uh, from the pre-production to the post-production. I wrote the subject of the story, did all the camera work, sound recording, editing and color correction. It was not easy, I had to face many challenges and difficult situations. The first challenge for sure was reaching the location. To get to the site at least two days of travel are needed. Once there the plan was to wake up every day of shooting at around half past five in the morning. Uh, have breakfast and then leave to look for the monkeys at around uh, 6 a.m. For safety reasons I was accompanied by Marzio, a field assistant. Although we know the places that capuchins usually visit, it is not easy to find them. The first day of shooting we spotted the group of monkeys on a far cliff after hours of waiting. In these cases patience is very important. When they went down the cliff I was able to film them more easily and I focused on the interactions between mothers and babies. For some days the group remained in the same area looking for food, so I got more material about maternal care and foraging strategies, for example extracting roots and tubers and collecting water from the tree holes. Capuchins often go up the cliffs looking for food and shelter. And this gave me the opportunity to film them resting in the caves 
and also to film the scene of a baby monkey rescued by his mother, which is a very powerful moment, a very tense and emotional scene. However, when they reach the top of the cliff, it is impossible to follow them and monitor their movements. So it happens to lose the group for some days. When you lose the monkeys, you need to find and follow their tracks. After hours, I spotted their footprints. So I followed their tracks and then I found them in a clearing of the forest where they were cracking nuts. I got some slow motion shots of the nutcracking behaviors and also the interaction between juveniles and adults at the anvil site. One of the last days of shooting, capuchins reached the top of a little cliff. So I went on the cliff and I filmed the nutcracking behavior with a wonderful view on the background. This was a magical moment. Staying close to these animals while performing one of their most iconic behaviors with a wonderful landscape on the background was incredible. Probably the best reward I could get. It will always be in my heart.